morning we catch up with the British pop star who's been enchanting us on the dance floor for well over 20 years. And the good news is she's on her way back to Australia, performing at the park at Flemington on Melbourne Cup Day. And she's touring with another bunch of British legends, boy band Take That. I had the pleasure of catching up with the very fabulous Sophie Ellis Bexter. <laughs> Sophie, it's lovely to talk to you. Nice to talk to you too. Where are you? You're at home? Yeah, you're in my sitting room right now. Uh, it's not very curated, but it is, yeah, <laughs> a lot of stuff. <laughs> I'm a bit of a maximalist, as you're discovering. You're going to miss all that stuff when you come to Australia. Yes, it's true. I love being at home, but I do love travel so much. And actually, Australia for me holds quite a special place in my heart because when I had my first album come out, it was one of the first trips I ever did. Every time I've gone to Australia, I've had a really good time. So, yeah, I'm excited. When was that first trip scare me? 2001. Wow. It's been quite the ride since then, right? It really has. Lots of twists and turns, but ultimately lots and lots of fun. And actually, I was in Sydney in February for Mardi Gras, and that was yeah. absolutely epic. I'm very fortunate. Well, you've got many, many, many fans, and we love your music here. What do you know about the Melbourne Cup? Oh, what do I need to know? Why don't we start that way around? Well, we call it the race that stops the nation because, you know, literally everyone in Australia and around the world watches the Melbourne Cup and you're, you're part of a big deal, a big Australian tradition. You're going to be playing this big gig in the park there. Yes. All the hits, right? Yeah, absolutely. I'm bringing my band because happily for me, the Melbourne Cup performance is when I'm also supporting Take That On Tour. So I'll be traveling all over. But the Melbourne gig is actually, that Melbourne Cup show is actually my only headline show of the whole thing. So it's extra special. Yeah, we always, my intention is always to get everybody dancing. We fell in love with you with, you know, If This Ain't The Love back in the day. Well, yeah, I mean, that song changed my life, really. Not just because it was the thing that gave me a solo career, but also it introduced me to lots of different types of music because before that I'd been in an indie band when I was a teenager. So it was through GrooveJet that I discovered dance music and ultimately that influenced the sort of solo sound I've had ever since. So I always celebrate its birthday every August, so <laughs> 24 years old now. The music industry has changed enormously since those days, but the roller coaster persists. You know, now you're on top of the world. I mean, murder on the dance floor, you know, salt burn and all that. Tell me about that part of the journey from your perspective. It's hard to sum it up really because I'm still sort of acknowledging what's happened this year. I think I thought I was stepping on a, like a horse carousel and instead it was like getting on a roller coaster. It's been pretty crazy. When Salt Burns director Emma Fennell asked me about using the song, I was already really complimented. Then I saw the film and I loved it. It's like such a extraordinary way to use the music. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing really is the fact that I've been singing Murder on the Dance Floor since it came out, very happily. It's something that really celebrates not just where I'm at now, but the journey of all of that and all the relationships that come off that. I hope you sent Barry Keoghan a bunch of flowers or, or, or something. <laughs> just some underwear, just some clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to ask you, because uh, you're practically Australian, um, you know, you spent so much time here. Did you really audition for the part of Satine in Moulin Rouge? I did. I spent a very happy hour with Baz Luhrmann singing through some songs and talking through the film. I mean, I just felt happy to have that time with him, really. <laughs> yeah, another thing what I did. Sophie, lovely to talk to you and uh, safe, safe travels and I bet it all on num number seven. Number seven, <laughs> race number seven. That's my lucky number two. <laughs> Isn't she fabulous? Oh, she's oh. terrific. Yeah, she's she great. just looks like she did 20 years ago. Yeah, she does. She's got a great speaking voice. And sings. Beautiful voice. She, that's going to be great at the at the park. Um, yeah. On, on Cup Day, Empire of the Sun also performing out there. But park's just this great venue yeah. out of Flemington. You, know, you, you get in there free with your, with your ticket. Fantastic. We've been 
been spoiled this year, haven't we? I mean, we had Katy Perry at the grand, AFL Grand Final. We're going to have the Kid Leroy. She was terrific. Yeah. Kid Leroy at the NRL Kid Grand Leroy. Final. Sophie Ellis Bexter at Melbourne Cup. I mean, whew. Ronan Keating on Oaks Day. What? Hey, Anastasia at Derby Day. Will Barry Keoghan be there? Barry Keoghan. The guy won't... we just saw in Salford. Well, we saw most of him. We saw a lot what of him. What was the? Because I noticed there was a big box there. Dickie, what was that big box for? That was a disguise. That was hiding part of his... Um... Oh, <laughs> he's got a keeping bottom. him modest. He's <laughs> big back. He's, he's, he's a well-built lad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Surely everyone's seen Saltburn, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've seen Saltburn, and that last scene, you know, was good for him. It really was. And it was great for Sophie as well. Yeah, yeah Sophie at the park on Cup Day, along with Empire of the Sun. Uh, for more info and tickets, visit vrc.com.au. And, of course, the Melbourne Cup Carnival is live and free on 9 and 9 now. And Sophie also going on tour would take that. Those tickets at Ticket Tech. So there you go, we're up to speed with well Sophie. It's we is it weird that my mother in law recommended that film? Talk yes, that's kind very of. weird. Because yeah. I had no oh idea. Maybe it's, she's it's, trying to tell you something. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what's she trying to say <laughs> though? <laughs> Until I watched it and went, whoa, Barry. Barry. It's, not, it's not just that last scene that's confronting by no, the way. No, there's a scene. lot in that film. <laughs> Settle down. <it's> Too <laughs> unpacked. <laughs> hey there, today fans, Sarah and. <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my God. Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports, and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?